Bardstown Middle School will be back in session tomorrow for the first time since a seventh grader took her life. Twelve year old Reagan Carter died two days before Christmas, and her mother says bullying from classmates led her daughter to suicide. WLKY's Marissa Alter spoke to Bardstown Superintendent about the claims and how the school will deal with Reagan's death. Marissa? Rick, a letter went home to parents over the break, letting them know about Reagan's death. Staff will also address it first thing tomorrow morning when middle school students arrive. 12 year old Reagan Carter won't be among the Bardstown Middle School students returning from holiday break. Staff spent much of today's professional development day preparing for how to talk about Reagan's suicide with her classmates. The key to this is our children will come to school tomorrow and they'll be looking for answers. And we want to be as prepared as we possibly can to provide as many answers as we can and to provide the help that they need. Counseling will be available on site for as long as necessary. We are seeking answers in this situation. We don't really know for sure what happened, but we have begun that process of, of interviewing and, and asking questions. Whatever happened, so we never want this to happen again. Reagan's mother says her daughter took an overdose of prescription cough medicine after harassment online and at school got to be too much. When you call someone else a derogatory term or a name, that that slowly eats away at them and I think that's what had happened this school year and that I guess it just kept getting to her and she was tired of it. Melanie Hack says the middle school was aware and should have done more. Superintendent Brent Holzclaw says all the schools take allegations of bullying seriously. When situations like this are reported to us, uh, whatever the case might be, we just want to assure you and, and, and those listening today that we take action on these on these situations. This is not something that we ignore. Holzclaw says the middle school took part in a school-wide program last fall dealing with peer conflict resolution. A seminar this month will also address bullying, but Holzclaw says technology makes the problem even more complex. It used to be that when you were at school, you were here for six to seven hours, then you were away from it. Uh, children are not away from each other any period of time anymore. 24-7, they have contact with each other. So it's a constant thing. Reagan was laid to rest last month in Monroe County. Her family will hold a memorial service in Bardstown this weekend. I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News.